Hey Toka, I heard you were gonna review all the SNES games. Uh, yep, yep, yep. So you're gonna review Kirby Superstar, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm not all that excited about it though. I'm not the biggest Kirby fan. You don't like Kirby? I mean, not really. How could you not like Kirby? I don't know, I, I mean, I played some of the games, it's just, they're not that fun to me and- I We're gonna play it, and you're gonna like it. I slap bet you. Slap at me? No, I, I, I'm not gonna like it. I don't We're know. playing it right, right, right now. now? Yeah. I, yeah. No, right now. Okay, okay, fine, but I'm not gonna love it. I love this. Oh. <laughs> Greetings and salutations, and welcome to the Toka Show. Where? Oh my goodness, he's so cute. Look at him just floating around, holding his breath in his little shoe. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yes, Kirby Superstar. What is widely considered to be the best Kirby game there ever was. I've played Kirby games before, mainly just Kirby's Adventure and Kirby's Dream Land on the Game Boy, but I never really got into the series. They never really hit the right spot for me. But hey, I've been wrong before. I'm ready. But this time, I'm not going alone. I'm bringing a friend. Let's go! Oh my! Kirby is a platformer, and what makes it special is Kirby's ability to copy enemy abilities. If that sounds awesome, you are a very smart individual, because, yep, it is awesome. Basically, Kirby sucks up enemies and consumes their souls. Pretty normal stuff. There are 19 different abilities, like ninja power, bomb power, Ryu power, hammer power, <laughs> Fresh Prince of Bel-Air power, and Link power. It really makes the game interesting. Without it, honestly, Kirby wouldn't be interesting at all. It would just be another platformer. But fortunately, that is not the case. Kirby Superstar isn't just one big adventure. Rather, it's a collection of four smaller regular Kirby games and four other modes. There's Samurai Kirby, which is just a reflex game testing out who can push a button faster. Darson and I played this a little more than we should have. There's Megaton Punch, which is all about who can punch a bigger crack in the planet. Gourmet Race, which sucks and is super unfair. The Great Cave Offensive, which is probably the most expansive mode in the game, being essentially a huge maze where the goal is to collect 60 treasures. And finally, the four story campaigns, Spring Breeze, Dino Blade, Revenge of Meta Knight, and Milky Way Wishes. These all play just like your original side-scrolling, enemy-murdering Kirby adventures, with each one adding something new to the formula. Playing Kirby with a friend is definitely the way to go. I played almost the entire game alone, and honestly, wasn't that impressed. But playing it again with a friend, I had the most fun in a video game I've had in months. Darson, ride me. No, I'm not going to ride you. Darson, no. ride me. Stop. Darson, no. Darson. What? Darson. No. Darson. What? Ride me. No! Oh no, I'm dying! I'm exploding! No! Tell my wife I love her! Jeez. Jeez, this is taking a while. Yep. Oh, you're still here? Yeah, I'm dying still. Oh, okay, there we go, bye. Basically, we just had a lot of fun. Spring Breeze is essentially a remake of the original Dreamland. Simple, fun, and a great way to dip your toes into the mechanics of Kirby. Because even though Kirby is usually seen as an easy kids game, it's pretty freaking hard. All right, I revived you. Now don't die again, okay? I won't. Let's do this. All right, let's go get that boss. Darson. What? I died again. How? I don't care how many tomatoes and flans you put in this game, it's still freaking hard. This? This is flan, like in the game. I don't have a joke for this. I just wanted to eat flan. Baby, I'm sorry. I'm Dino Blade is a little more intense than Spring Breeze, where Kirby has to save bird babies from their own mother. Don't ask questions, don't think about it. Revenge of Meta Knight is pretty cool. You get to fight through a handful of levels to reach Meta Knight's ship and blow it up. After you beat every mode in the game, you unlock Milky Way Wishes, which is probably my favorite mode. In this campaign, Kirby's copy mode is gone. He can no longer copy just any enemy he sees. He has to find them scattered across all six levels. But once he finds one, he can keep it permanently and switch to it at any point in time. Finding all 19 power-ups is really fun too and a nice little collectible hunt. With memorable bosses, tight mechanics, and a thoroughly fleshed out two-player mode, Kirby Superstar is a delight to play. I 
had the best time with Kirby Superstar, but mostly because I could share the experience with my friend. Honestly, I don't think it's all that worth it alone. For some people it might be. For me personally though, I would just rather play a game that's more tailored for a single player experience. However, Kirby Superstar definitely is worthy of the praise it gets. Holy crap! What? We just talked and about that this! That is why Kirby Superstar is talked about the this. best game Stop scaring me! No! Leave! You can't do this! This is my show! It's my chair! It's my room! We just talked about this, Tarson! Just now! This is why I don't have any friends anymore! Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. And as always, please consider subscribing to my channel, The Toka Show, and giving that bell a ding-a-ling-ling -ling so you are notified for whenever my new videos come out, which, by the way, is every Tuesday and Saturday. Also, follow my Twitter, because why not? It takes like two seconds, just do it. Just do it. It's, 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 not, it's not that hard. Like, what? You man enough? Follow me on Twitter? I don't know. I don't know, man. Got, uh, I'm skeptical. 